Oh hi guys, welcome to the latest episode of Cricket Draft Insight. Today I'd like to talk about some players that I think need to go up in value in the county championship game. We'll start with Surrey's Ryan Patel, currently priced at £6.4 million. Had a, has a good one-day cup record, has performed well in that competition when you might argue there's the absence of some, you know, some top players. Been a bit of a fill-in player in the county championship, but finished the season strongly, a couple of 70 odds, 100, can chip in with the ball too and just really owns a position in that Surrey top order now. So at 6.4 million, I think he needs to go up a little. Ricardo Vasconcelos is an interesting one, priced at 6.2 million. You know, I'm looking at a lot of players that I've identified and players who like really merit going up off the back of last season. Now, Vasconcelos might not have had a stellar season. I think he started quite well. He's had the odd injury niggle. Obviously, he listed as a wicketkeeper, hasn't kept wicket so much in recent times. You know, but he's a good proven player. And if he's back to full fitness and, you know, starting in the team from the off, 6.2 million just, just seems slightly low uh, for him for me. Um, so at 6.2 million, yeah, I think Ricardo Vasconcelos needs to go up a little. Next up is Zach Chappell, a fantastic season across the formats. Uh, currently priced at 6.1 million. I think we still say bowling all round, uh, you know, but can contribute occasionally, occasionally with the bat and quite destructively. You know, really consistent wicket taking threat. And it's 6.1 million in the county championship game. Uh, definitely fully, fully merited a bit of a rise. Michael Pepper, a regular in my teams, 5.3 million in the county championship. Obviously, I mean, he's kicked on even more in the T20s. I think a couple hundreds this year. And we just started to see signs, I think, last season in the county championship game. He had a few few innings before, not really seized his opportunities, but really kicked on as a white ball player, taking that into the county championship game there were two first class hundreds does have the odd like finger or hand injury in him which just slightly concerns me otherwise he'd be you know certainly in the mix between him and Hurst for my team next season um but at 5.3 million like I say has destructively kicked on in the county championship and I, I would say probably needs to go up quite significantly because of course he's wicket keeping with Cook, Porter, Snater, Harmer bowling he should take a few dismissals too but his destructive batting I've spoken a bit about uh you know, quick scoring batters, but we've seen real substance from Pepper too. So 5.3 million, but like he has to go up quite a bit, I think. James Wharton, five million pounds. Wasn't in the team at the start of the season because the like, likes of Root and Brook were playing and I thought that was a shame. Unfortunately, as the season progressed, he got his opportunities. Now, he obviously finished with that big 285. I mean, that might end up being his career best score. But um, we saw previously he scored 100 and he went on to make 188. And even before or in between, even his starts, you know, they normally have a boundary or two. I think he's a good fielder as well. So started to see some consistency uh, displayed that he's capable of going on. So five million, we could talk about competition for places in that Yorkshire side with Will Luxton too, with the availability of international players. Uh, but Wharton has to go up from, from five million. Andy Gorbin, really interesting one at Glamorgan. I saw him play and he dropped a catch and it was a horrible catch. But I like his bowling, I like his style, bit different, hides the ball, looked really effective in white ball cricket. And the question was, can he do it in red ball cricket? And I thought he'd earned that opportunity. And then Glamorgan signed, I think was it Fraser Sheet, uh, Ned Leonard on loan, and now signed permanently. And they left Gorbin out for a couple of games, and I thought that was wrong. And then he played a county championship game, didn't do a lot. But then in the last game or two, wickets came in that format as well. Bit of a late bloomer coming into, um, you know, playing regularly in professional cricket. Just a really interesting, exciting, different, clever bowler. And uh, 4.8 million, sorry, referring to my list there. 4.8 million, yeah, has, has to go up a bit. Matty Hurst is an obvious one. I mentioned him when I was talking about Michael Pepper. So those two have been my wicket-keeping options in the, in the latter stages of the county championship game last season. Really poor Lancashire side, and Hurst has often been the one they relied on, uh, batting at five in recent times to score them some runs. Obviously, being Division Two, um, which could take me to Josh Bohannon. I'll talk about him in the future because um, I think some of these Lancashire players could be a real value next season in Division Two. But Matty Hurst, you know, really kicked on. We saw you know planted the seed the season before the end of the season before last, and and he really just kept going this season. We saw in the hundred as well. So. so. Um, he scored quick runs, signed for the Big Bash as well. I think he's in this England Lions squad as well. So a lot going on. Um, extremely capable batter, wicket keeper, 4.7 million. Again, a player who has to rise. Ethan Brooks, if, if you've watched any of my previous videos, you might have, I might have bored you to tears talking about Ethan Brooks. Um, you know, progressed in, in every facet, in every format. 
4.6 million developed as a really good all-rounder in a sea of all-rounders in that Worcestershire side. But, you know, Joe Leach, Jason Holder have gone, um, you know, nailed on to start in that team next season. Scored his first first-class 100, taking wickets with more regularity. 4.6 million as an all-rounder. Another one who has to head up, you know, north of 5 million. And finally, I'll mention Ben Kellaway. Wasn't it great to see his progress? You know, he'd done really well in the one one day cup the season before, not got up and running in the county championship, one or two more performances in the one day cup, and then suddenly it clicked in the county championship. Uh, scored some runs, although there weren't many runs, he had a, but he got off the mark after a few ducks, took some wickets. I think it was a five wicket haul late on, might have been the last game. Be interesting to see, you know, with Crane, Carlson, we've spoken about his bowling, the depth of the batting Glamorgan have. Does Kellaway start the season next season in the team? Is the Cooper ball relevant? But Ben Kellaway, really, really exciting to see. Good young player kicking on for Glamorgan. And like Ethan Brooks, probably in the mix, maybe for one of my all-rounder roles, or maybe on the bench um, next season. But Ben Kellaway, 4.1 million. Just got to go up. There are others out there. Acer Tribe is one I've spoken about quite cheap. Will Smale, you know, Glamorgan have got a few there. Archie Bourne, Farhan Ahmed. You know, obviously, obviously they're going to go up. Um, but are there any more out there? Any players you think really merit a, a significant rise? Um, but a number of players there, like, say, Pepper, Hurst, who have been around my team, Gorvin, who interests me, just somebody solid like Vasconcelos. So please let me know what you think, who you think should go up in price. Thank you very much for watching. How's that?